Hello and welcome to our Christmas Mixology cocktail lesson today. Um, I'm going to show you two easy drinks. One is more on the dry side, one is on the sweeter side. I hope you will enjoy them. They're very simple ingredients. One has vodka, one has tequila, so I hope you're either a friend of one of them. And uh, without wasting any time, let's get started. Um, for our first one, we're going to take an apple and thyme martini. And what I did is to do a little syrup where you use about um, half a cup of water, one cup of sugar, and then you put about five sprints of thyme into it. You simmer this for five minutes, strain it, let it cool down, and you have a beautiful, simple syrup with a nice little thyme flavor. That's kind of like a little side ingredient for the martini. So, we want to get started first on the our glass, and of course, we need some ice. <laughs> Nice now, glass. I used to have the Boston shaker, so I always use the glass and silver cup. Works usually best for me. Okay, first ingredient to go in is about uh, two ounces of vodka. One and a half cup, a little more. Okay. Then we're gonna need about one and a half ounce of um, apple juice. A nice little Christmassy color, and then last but not least, about half an ounce of um, our nice thyme simple syrup. This gives a nice flavor. If you don't like thyme, you make it use a little different herb, but it's completely up to you. Okay. We add them all into here. Add maybe one more little ice scoop, and then we're going to shake it all up. Mix it up. Always make sure your ice is nicely tight and wet. So that you stand up. Then, then when you start the ice line to appear, then the cocktail or the is almost ready. We're going to strain it into our prepared and chilled martini glass. In the boiler, all the good stuff out. Ooh. And then to make that look a little Christmassy for um, our garnish, I'm going to use, use a really red apple. I'm gonna use a melon baller to just make little cores out of it. They look like little Christmas balls that you uh, put probably on your Christmas tree. So there's one, and you always want to do odd numbers. If you don't have a melon baller available, you can also use maybe just cut them into squares with a small knife. Very simple. Always odd numbers. So in this case, I'm gonna use five. They kind of flow very unique on your cocktail. Five is always a good number. And then we're gonna add a little fresh spring of thyme just in the middle to make it look really Christmassy. We have the red, the right, and the green. And there you have a little apple and thyme martini. 